Yo, what's going on, everybody? And before um, this video starts, I just want to say there's no beef between me and Jeff or anything. Uh, it's not like I don't think Jeff is dumb when he knows when it comes to his college football knowledge. In fact, I think that probably 99 out of the 100 things that Jeff says, I agree with. Um, but he missed on this one, in my opinion. I, I don't agree with what he said about Ole Miss and, um, and a, a couple of other things and all that. I don't agree with it. Um, and I'm not going to play Jeff's call for uh, two reasons. Number one, y'all probably don't want to watch a 35-minute a, a video of calls that aren't even, like, entertaining. Which I the calls are the calls I guess you could call entertaining, but it's not like it's some back and forth argument between someone. And that's probably the only call someone would listen to for thirty minutes. Jeff's call is not thirty five minutes, but if you put mine and Jeff's call combined, it's probably 30, around thirty five minutes or something. And if it's not a back and forth call, even if it is a back and forth call, I don't think people want to listen to thirty five minutes of that. Much less, I mean, it. it I, I, but barely anyone listened to my call in the other video, so it, it, my call was only five minutes. So how can I trust people to watch a 35-minute call with just information, not even back and forth? I, I don't think they're going to want to, so I'm not going to put that in the video. But I will link Tiger Baskin's video below. You can definitely check that video out. Jeff's call starts around, I think, 2.05 or something, and it ends around 2.25. Uh, I could be wrong, but it starts around there, uh, and then my call starts at 226 and ends around, I think, 236, uh, in the hours and all that. So you could definitely check it out if you want to. Uh, I just wanted to make this video to see if y'all agree with me or anything, but if you want an overview of what Jeff said, basically a couple things he said, I disagree and agree with. Number one, he said that Ole Miss has no chance of putting up 35 points against Bamba. Um, that's wrong. I'm not saying that they're, they, Bama can't hold them under 35 points. I'm saying they have no chance of scoring at least 35 points. That, that's a miss. That's a miss. That's a miss. Number two, he's saying, well, we're gonna, they're not scoring 35 points, but they, we could, they could still win. I also disagree with that. Ole Miss's defense is not really good enough to hold Bama under 35. Or at least I don't think so. Um, I think Bama will reach 35, so I also disagree with that. Um, but that's not as, you know. Number three, he said that a &M is overrated. I agree with that. Uh, a &M is overrated. And Uncle Lou picking a &M, that's fine. That There's nothing against me and Uncle Lou. That's not a ridiculous pick. I think it's an okay pick. But I, it is three, I'm not going to lie, it threw me off. So I'm not... I'm not going to sugarcoat that. And um, I'm saying that Bama's defense, well, Bama's de team is around the same as, you know, 2020 is another thing he said because the defense is a lot better even though the offense is worse. That doesn't make up for it in today's game. Uh, if your offense is worse, uh, Bama's team is a lot worse than it was in 2020. Not saying they can't still win the natty, but I disagree with that. That's a miss because – Great defense, not in today's in today's game. Great defense cannot make up for a little bit less on offense. That's just not. Uh, it, it, Bama, Bama's defense is better, but number one, they lost more production on offense than they gained on defense. Number two, it's offense and defense. Offense is superior in today's game. So getting a couple pieces on defense does not make up for that. Bama will be worse in 2020. They can still win the Natty. They definitely can. But they're not as good as last year. And it's you can't deny that. And Ole Miss, um, excuse me, not Ole Miss. But um, uh, they, and they, I think they put, definitely lose in a regular season game. No matter where it is, they'll lose a regular season game. He said 11-1 to Auburn, which is, uh, he's right. That crazy things do happen in Jordan Harris, so... I'm not. That's not. That, I. I. Do I think? Do I say they lose to Auburn? No, but they definitely got it. They definitely have a shot. Uh, I, I think that's definitely a shot. Uh, although I mean, crazy things happen. Jordan Hare. Bama's a much better team in Auburn. They've lost the past three of the four games. Jordan Hare. Uh, so I mean, and two of them in special teams fashion with Bama kickers involved. <laughs> but um yeah that's just that's just those are just my takes on the overall things. I did talk about the Georgia Clemson game a little bit and talked about a couple other things, um but you'll listen to that in the call. Other than that, 
Enjoy the call, man. Peace and go dogs. Mess up a little bit, man. Peace and go dogs. We're on a mission to address something. Zero, six, three, eight, eight, four, 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 Hello? Can you hear me there, buddy? You doing okay, bud? Yeah. Uh, I gotta address some things Jeff said because I disagree with a lot of things he said, especially about the Ole Miss game. Uh, I'm not I'm not gonna go on a huge rant. I'm not gonna go crazy. So anyone watching, just uh, you don't have to turn the volume down or anything. I'm, I'm cool, okay? But number one, him saying that, um, that Ole Miss has no chance to score 35 points in Alabama, um, sir... Ole Miss is one of the best offenses in college football, and a great offense in today's game is, can't be stopped. Uh, he might be thinking about thinking back in 2009 when offenses were bad and great defenses won. It's an offensive game now. Great offenses are going to score. I'm not saying they can't they they can't hold them to under 35, but they definitely have a shot to score over 35. So that that's just ridiculous right there. Um, okay. What do you think? Uh, well, I mean, I did, you know, we, we, so later in the conversation, he definitely understood where I was coming from. Uh, hold on, let me, let me type this. I'm saying, yeah, Rob Sanders' opinion was terrible, but it's not all fans that think that way. Uh, Rob Sanders is just an attention seeker. Um, I don't think we were able to see that. Was that the comment, or were you talking to me? No, no, I was telling everybody in the comment section. I saw some people saying that. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, no, I agree, bro. Uh, the thing is, I know for a fact that, you know, I know Ole Miss will be able to put up points, and the thing is, where where is Ole Miss going to be by that game? Well, you know? I mean, yeah, Ole Miss is going to put up points. Now, here's the thing. I think Ole Miss has a better chance for out to uh, beating Bama them at Miami or LSU. Let me tell you why. The reason Nick Saban is, has never lost a week one game. He is he's uh nine one against LSU in the past ten years. And you know why? It's cause he has extra time to prepare for those games. Week one he is all off season and versus LSU he is a bye week. That gives him extra time to prepare for the game and Nick Saban doesn't lose those types of games. Since Ole Miss is in the middle of the season, he has a better chance of losing to um, Ole Miss than he does to LSU or Miami, which I, I think that's very true. Yeah, I got you. Especially uh, since the game is for A and I mean, well, that, that, that I get what you're saying too, and that's that's kind of where I guess you know watching. Um, I, I guess watching Dan, Mo not Dan Mullen, but uh, Texas A and M. Jimbo Fisher, I believe, is a good coach. I feel like he is. He has built his team up to be a very big powerhouse. But there's still one team that's in the way, and, and Alabama continues to win, whether it's close or not. And that's what I'm waiting on. It's like I'm waiting on Texas A&M to turn that corner, but is Alabama going to let them? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's the tough part. That's where Alabama's at right now. Yeah. Now, one thing I do agree with what he said is about how A&M lost to them by 28 points last year. See, and apparently they struggled to Vandy trying to beat Vanderbilt. They, yeah, they, they only beat them 17 um, 12. Yeah, I did not know that was the score. Yeah, and I, I mean, like, yeah, AM, Uncle Lou, you know, I, I love his videos and all that. Him picking AM to win the West, it's not ridiculous, but it throws a lot of people off because they lost to Bama 28 points last year. If they do lose to Ole Miss, then they're going to be heated, so mad that enraged that they're going to try and destroy AM as much as possible. And Jimbo Fisher trash talk Nick Saban. On top of that, I don't really give AM much of a chance at all. And 
You know, I mean, not long. Uh, somebody asked, do I think Darnell Washington will be 80, at least 80 percent? I believe so. For him to be back right now, and, and for people to already know all the reports coming out that he's practicing, guys, you got to agree. You, you got to agree. That means that he's already been, you know? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Calvino says it's my job to keep Megan and Mullen distracted. Don't fail. Yo, yeah, week one's a bye week for Georgia. We don't got to worry about that at all. Cupcake game. Um. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. It'll be good. No. Uh, I think it'll be a very fun game. And like no. I said, it's probably you know the best or one of the best, if not the best game of the entire season. If yeah, yeah, one. yeah. It'll it'll be a close game. I know some people are already typing about that right now, being upset, but it'll be a close game. <laughs> but um. Either way, yeah. Either way, it'll be a close game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. But anything, anyways, going back on the Bama topic, another thing, too, is A&M's quarterback did not perform well in the spring game whatsoever. That shows me that he's not that ready, especially for an opponent like Bama. So you need a quarterback in today's game, and I don't think A&M has it. So that's another reason as well. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, and Jeff Webster talks about, how, okay, yeah, our offense is a little bit worse, but our defense is a lot better. He's not lying there, but that overall makes Bama worse because it's an offensive game, and you offense is a lot more important than defense in today's game. So that's going to probably and that's gonna probably make Bama lose a game, which I know he said, but that, gives, that makes Bama a lot worse and probably a little bit worse than what people think they are. Still a natty contender, still one of the best, I think, two – three or two teams in the nation, but that's one thing to take a note as well. Well, and that's, I think that's what all the question marks come into this season is, Clemson's had to defend themselves a lot, Georgia's had to defend themselves a lot. Uh, now, Kobe, Clemson's uh, backup quarterback is back. Uh, I thought he had a Achilles tear too. It must have been a strain or something because it usually takes a little over a year to come back. So, you know, I, I don't know. Anyways, it's just there's a lot of question marks. The Miami uh, Alabama game will prove a lot to us. Um, hell, uh, we got LSU versus UCLA. That'll prove a lot to us. LSU, they have to. They have to do good this game, right? Because LSU struggled last year with teams that are opponents that were not that great. So I'm just saying, you know, that's the main thing to me, guys, is just keeping it, I say, keeping it real. And LSU, you got to do good. Bama, we got to do good. Or Bama's got to do Whoa. good. Georgia, we got to do good. Clemson, y'all have to do good. But whoever loses that Georgia Clemson game, your, your season's not over. Honestly, you could everything that you want is in front of you right there. So Whoa. it's just gonna be. I know I didn't just hear you say we for Bama, but um. <laughs> I'm a little tough. Good dog. Yeah. Anyways, okay. is that Clemson backup quarterback really back? Because if he's been injured for over a year, I bet a couple of pits are probably gonna re-injure him again. So I don't know if he's. I don't think he'll play, but I see what you're saying. A he, little trash talk from Jacob Watson. He's probably he's probably not even gonna play Clemson fans. Don't worry about it. I mean, I, I, I know. Alex says Clemson has built a small dynasty. I agree. Uh, Alabama has the big dynasty, Clemson has a small dynasty, and not really anybody has even come close. Well, I think so, a dynasty uh, takes three championships, but I guess two is is worth call, counting as, I guess, a small dynasty, a minor one. Yeah. But I yeah, think yeah. I think a dynasty is three championships, not two, but that's just my opinion. Um, three. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Either way, you know, I'd love to have two championships in the last ten years. Though. I know you would too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean that's not, that's not taking anything away from Clemson though. They've been the second best team over the past five, ten, five, six years. So that's yeah. not taking away from. You know? I get what you're, Yeah, probably five to eight years. Yes. Yeah, I'm just saying. I think I just think um, it's three that creates a dynasty. But um, I mean, more talk about Bama. It's just. That Ole Miss game, Jeff needs to seriously realize that that's a game that Bama could definitely lose. And that Ole Miss can definitely put up more than 35 points on Bama. In fact, I think they get the in the 40s. Um, and if Jeff doesn't think that um, that Ole Miss is, can score 30 over 35 in that game, but he thinks Bama can lose that game, that confuses me all around because Ole Miss is not going to beat Bama by not scoring under 30 
or not scoring over 35 points because your defense is absolutely garbage, which maybe it's improved a bit, but it, that just that statement just confused me all around, the whole thing about the Ole Miss game. Okay, well, that's what I'm saying. I think this season will be a fun one, and uh, we got a lot of stuff to talk about as the season goes on. So we're looking forward to talking to you next Sunday after the Georgia game and all of that, and uh, I'm sure we're going to have a crazy talk. Well, I will talk to you on Sunday. Stuff that's coming out, bro. Well, I will talk to you on Sunday, but the number one thing on my list for Sunday is to call into Rob show and confront him about all the statements he said about Georgia. And then, yeah, that, that's that's number one on my list if Georgia wins. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, but I mean. Thank you, though, dude. Freaking Jacob Watson, y'all, with an awesome call. Anything else you want to say to everybody, big dog? Yeah, I mean, I'm just looking forward to the season. Um, and other than that, I mean, <laughs> go dogs. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, big dog. See you, bud. All right, see ya. That was it. Nothing. A couple things he said in the stream there were a little bit off. That's just my opinion. Peace and go dogs. Oh. All right, let's try it again. Right. Peace and. I'm recording on something different today, so I'm getting confused about the camera. Peace and go. Peace and go dogs.